Now this this is a really really a different specimen. This is from the the Channing Two mine, Northern Cape of South Africa, Kalahari manganese fields. Here we have something which came out a few years back, which is a, 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 a girthite after after pyrite. So this used to be pyrite crystals, which uh, lost the sulfur content and turned into FeOH, I think, uh, which is girthite, uh, formerly known as limonite, closely related to hematite as well. But what baffles me about this piece, which is so unusual about this guy, is there appear to be rhodochrosite crystals growing on this on this whole specimen. Uh, 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 not the dog teeth, the, the cubes in this case, which is very, very unusual, because usually I've found associated with the the girthite of the, of the pyrite is usually a calcite associated stained yellow by by sulfur content of the the previous pyrite uh, crystals so this is a is a fine mat of uh, radicocyte uh, cubes sitting uh, uh, in the sandwich section of uh, um, the 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 uh, girthite of the pyrite sitting on a manganese matrix so so the specimen would be flat we turn it over like this lovely lovely piece and of course anything out of the ordinary we're talking about the rarities of these localities and this would be well uh, quite possibly from the Channing 1 mine uh, well let's go with Channing 2 but could quite possibly ch be Channing 1 Mind you, all the Kalahari mines are interlinked by, by pockets, so Channing mines.